Hey, what's going on guys? It is Seth here with the Cruising Classics YouTube channel. We just got in this beautiful 1970 Chevrolet Nova Yinko Tribute. Absolutely beautiful car. Recent restoration. You guys can see she's dressed in a nice lipstick red paint job. Got your Yinko stripe package there. Sitting on a beautiful set of uh, Billet Specialty polished wheels. Check out these uh, Wheelwood disc brakes up front. These are just drilled rotors. Very nice. I mean, look at that wheel and tire setup. Like I said, got the Wheelwood caliper hiding in the background there. Just makes the pop paint pop a little bit more. And obviously you got the stopping power of the Wheelwood disc brakes. Excellent bright work on this car. Excellent paint too. And you guys can look down the side of this car. See she's nice and straight. No denser dings in the hood, body panels, nothing like that. All your glass trim, even the glass on the car is great. Like I said, you can look at the top of the roof. See there's no hail damage, nothing like that. We're not hiding anything. This car is beautiful. You guys can count how many times I say beautiful in this video because let's face it car is man let's go ahead and take a look inside of our trunk here after I drop the keys got your Optima red top back here tucked away from the engine bay got your nice Optima battery mount there looks very nice you have a stack of receipts there for the car you guys can obviously tell the trunk's been gone through, stripped down, repainted. Looks very nice. Sometimes you'll see on these cars, people put trunk mats in there. and Those mats will hold moisture, and nine times out of ten, that's what causes the trunk to rust. But I mean, you guys can see this looks very, very nice. Beautiful day to film a video. You guys will see towards the end of the video, we'll take this car on a drive. We'll show you how it does. Sorry about that, didn't mean to bump the camera. Let's go ahead and check out our uh, door jams like we usually do. Visit our website, cruisingclassicsinc.com. You guys can see tons of photographs on this car, but obviously we're filming a video on it which most of you guys prefer, and I would too if I was buying a vehicle from long distance. We'll go to our driver's side. You guys can see how nice the door closes on this car. Check out our driver's side, just how we did our passenger side. Drip rails look great. little Yanko there on the door panel. It does have a vinyl black interior which you guys already seen. Bucket seats. Extremely comfortable. Back seats back there. Doesn't look like any seat belts are back here. Just so you guys are aware there are seat belts up front though. They might be tucked away under the seat but just so you guys know I don't see any right off the bat. You guys can see in the kick panels of the car we do got some speakers. Stereo system sounds great in this car. We got a Kenwood single den head unit. Got a beautiful auto meter gauge package there. We can't forget this car is on Holly Sniper fuel injection system. Very, very nice. We also have a Hearst quarter stick shifter there for your turbo 350 transmission. This car does have a nice set of uh, Mickey Thompson uh, ET Streets on the back. Does have drum brakes in the back. Dual exhaust out the back. I mean, check out that car, guys. Does just have a standard BF Goodrich radio up front. Let's go ahead and pop the hood on this car. See what's hiding under there. All right, guys, look at all this eye candy under here. Got a nice big aluminum radiator. 
do have a subtle pulley system there. GM Performance heads. I believe this is a 406. Absolutely beautiful engine bay. Tons of chrome. You got headers on the car, tubular upper control arms. Nice little uh, overflow tank there. You do have gloss black wheel tubs. Very, very nice. Looks like all new brake lines, CPP steering. Like I said, tubular upper control arms. Nice to see they use the little T-bolt clamps there. Very, very nice engine bay. It looks like it has an electric radiator, obviously, too, to pair up with your aluminum rad. Hood is painted underneath, body color. Sometimes you'll see people do matte black or gloss black. It is body color underneath. Beautiful car. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up, guys. Enough talking. I'm sure you guys have been waiting for this moment. Like I said, doors open and close very, very nicely on this. The only issue with the car I can find on the inside, um, actually really overall, is you do have to press this door uh, or window crank in so um, to get it to really work. I think it's just missing a little um, you know, U-bolt uh, or U-style. They call them the Jesus clips because when they fly away, you can't ever find them. You know. See, she fires right up. Super easy with the fuel injection. You guys can see your little screen right here, which usually sits in the glove box, but I pulled it out for the video. So you guys can see, we got 192 water temp. We did just take it on the drive, uh, which you guys will see momentarily. So the car's been sitting. Got your ignition timing, bunch of stuff on here, battery bolts, you name it, you can put it on here. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Beautiful sound. Let's go ahead and give you guys a walk around. If you're interested in this car, feel free to give us a phone call 614-276-7355. Located here in Columbus, Ohio, about 13, 15 minutes away from the Columbus Airport. Super easy. Uber to our location. Drive it home if you want to. If you want to hire an inspector to come check this thing out, we encourage it. If they are a licensed bonded inspector, they're allowed to use a four-post lift. Just a beautiful car, guys. You can hear no knocks, no ticks, no weird noises. Nice mild cam. But enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and take this thing on a drive, and we'll see how she does. All right, guys. Welcome to the driving portion of the 70 Nova. Yanko Tribute. Just going to be taking this car on a short drive down the road. Obviously, show you guys that it is a running and driving vehicle. Absolutely beautiful car. You guys just watched the walk around video of it. And like I said, we'll just be taking it for a short drive down the road. It's about 85, almost 88 degrees here actually, I think. Let's see, yep, 88 degrees, my watch says, and this car is running no hotter than 160, charging about 14 volts, and we've got about 65 pounds of oil pressure. You guys saw this car does have a small block Chevy under the hood, 406 does have the turbo 350 automatic with the Hurst quarter stick. This car runs down the road very nice. Like I said, we're not even a tip over 160. got a great sound we'll go over the bridge and uh, make our usual u-turn and head back toward the showroom might be hard to see but our indicator is working there on the dashboard 
brake pedal's nice and firm like it should be right at the top. Little squeak out of the brake pedal. firm shifts. Right up to 55. As mentioned during the walk around video, if you guys have any questions about this car, shipping, financing, whatever the case may be, don't hesitate to give us a phone call at 614-276-7355 got plenty of pictures of this car inside outside underneath you name it there's probably a picture of it you can visit our website at cruisingclassicsinc.com right there on the screen guys hear that holly sniper fuel injection whistling under the hood when you crack the throttle Sounds very good. Boys like how the uh, sniper system will always have that little whine to them, I guess, when you get on the throttle, you can hear the fuel just hitting it. Sounds really, really good. Like I said, guys, give us a call if you have any questions. Phone number is 614-276-7355. All right, guys, we're coming up on the showroom. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And uh, press the subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notified every time I list a video and a car for sale. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.